What is my purpose? Shields. Oh my god. Yeah, welcome to the club, pal. All right. Hello and welcome, everyone. So today we are going to finally talk about Hildren. Apologies for not talking about her right when she came out, uh, as I was sick at the time. Uh, so we're going to be talking about it now. Luckily for Hildren, she has been buffed a little bit since her release. So this video will go a little bit better for her. And by a little bit, I do mean a little bit. I have been having some troubles getting Hildren to do much and that might seem a little odd but let's explain why first and foremost uh special things about hildren she is the shield warframe she does not have energy she has a ton of shields 3500 on this build in fact uh and she uses those to power her abilities so there's her unique thing in addition to that she is the first warframe with shield gating although it was implemented in a rather strange manner but we'll get to that a little bit later on um and uh, yeah basically that's that's her shtick is that she has a lot of shields she's basically enaros but for shields uh so yeah the build that i've thrown on her is this so i've not invested any forma into hildren because i can't think of a good reason to do so outside of i guess i could change intensify to umbral intensify but 14 percent power strength is not a great argument i feel for even throwing one forma into this warframe and this build is pretty much going to be able to do things if you want to do it. Uh, this has max efficiency. Uh, obviously, I'm using max streamline and fleeting expertise because this is a channeling Warframe and I didn't want to have to run prime continuity. If you don't know how channeling efficiency works, I have an entire video on it, which I would highly suggest. I'll put a link to it down in the description below. Uh, and then outside of that, we're running a small strength package and a small range package because range benefits pretty much everything Hildren's going to do, and strength benefits her one, mostly, uh, but technically her other abilities as well. And then we're running Redirection, because this is basically Flow and also a defensive mod for Hildren. Uh, and we're running Adaptation, because this gives her damage reduction, because she's tanky enough, she's going to get shot more than once, and then getting high percentages of damage reduction is going to be extremely helpful, uh, especially because armor is not really going to do her any good on her shields. With that, we also are running Aviator, which just so happens to have a nice, convenient polarity up here in the Exilus slot. Uh, and I am pretty much 100% certain that this works during her 4 uh, and gives you an additional 40% damage reduction. It's a bit hard to tell because obviously your shields are constantly draining while you're using your 4. Uh, but I'm 99% certain this is working while you're using your four. Outside of that, in terms of arcanes, I'm using Arcane Aegis and Arcane Barrier, for those who don't know what these do. Uh, Arcane Barrier, sometimes I'll get shot, and then my shields are at max. Pretty useful, uh, especially whenever I have the potential to gain 3,500 shields all in, like, one hit. Uh, and then Arcane Aegis uh, has a slightly higher chance to activate, and it gives me plus 60 shields a second for 20 seconds. Um, basically, if this activates for 20 seconds, all of my abilities don't cost anything, and I'm regenerating shields. Because uh, it's very hard to be using 60 shields a second whenever your build is max efficiency. Uh, so those basically keep me topped off most of the time as long as I am getting shot. But some you'd like all the enemies to be dead. So sometimes you're just not getting shot and you'll spend shields anyway. Now, what do all of the abilities in Hildren's Arsenal do? Balefire, this is an exalted one ability. It's basically a... AoE little grenade launcher dealy that you can charge up, but I have not been able to find a single reason you ever would charge it up, uh, as charging it up just seems to lower your damage output overall whenever you're going enemy to enemy, uh, so probably don't charge it. It has a reasonable explosion radius, uh, and it's fine. We'll show the build for that in a moment. Uh, then we have Shield Pillage. Shield Pillage is basically Mag's ability, uh, except for getting the shields is more... Uh, meaningful for Hildren than it is for Mag. So this is how you get your energy back, essentially. Uh, and this works on armor and shields of enemies, which is worth noting. Uh, and uh, it also purges all status effects. Then we have Haven. Honestly, I know what this ability does, but I haven't been able to figure out why this ability exists. Uh, this is basically Hildren's equivalent of Gara's 3, where... You you can you could use it, but why would you ever? Uh, it damages enemies that are in the AOE, but it does extremely low amounts of damage. 
uh, and it bolsters allies' shields at the cost of your shields, and also it gives them your passive, so they will have a shield gate whenever they're under the effects of this, for anyone that doesn't know that. Um, and I can't find a reason that that would ever really be useful outside of some significantly edge cases. For example, ex surviving explosions from the Orb Mothers. But you could just walk away, so... I, I haven't found a single use for Haven. Uh, it's quite worthless. We'll show it off, though. Uh, and then Aegis Storm. Aegis Storm, basically, you can fly up, and we'll we'll, we'll show this one off. Um, and just to do that real quick. So basically, um, you can hit four, and you, you go into Aegis Storm. Now I can fly around, uh, and if I'm dodging, I can use her special little dodge. This is the buff that this ability received, uh, and thank God it did, because without it, this ability is painfully slow. Uh, but with the dodging, you can get around reasonably fast. Uh, everything in the little AO, in this, well, not little, I guess, with this range, um, and everything in this AOE gets lifted up, so it CCs, uh, but that will get smaller as you go higher into the air. So now it's only this area, but it'll do more damage. Not that the damage from this matters uh, whenever it is a smaller circle. So mostly you want to hover pretty low to the ground so your CC is working. Uh, and during this, despite you being able to see my pistol, you cannot fire it, but you can activate your one uh, so that you can shoot Balefire around. So that's cool. Uh, it does cosmetically give you a second Balefire, but it is worth noting that I don't think there are any actual benefits to this. It doesn't increase your damage or anything like that. Uh, so there's that. And then whenever you deactivate it or it becomes nullified or anything like that, you will slam into the ground, which does a very small amount of damage, uh, but at least it looks cool. Now, before we move on any further, uh, we're going to show the build for Balefire, which I have invested three Forma into. Um, basically, I invested three Forma into this just because I was trying to get it to somewhere where it was at least okay. Uh, this is not a crit weapon, so getting it to do stuff is harder than normal. We're using maxed Hornet Strike, we're using maxed Magnum Force, and we're using maxed Prime Heated Charge. It's a lot of investment into this build. Um while still trying to keep some semblance of status and it is a rough time like i know if you look here this says it does like 50k damage and that might seem fine and good um but there are plenty of regular weapons that can far outpace the amount of damage this actually puts out uh just due to its fire rate uh being what it is and it being poor against nullifiers and things of that nature but yeah, anyway, let's uh, let's just get to showing this off, because Hildren is fine. It's serviceable. We're going to be doing a level 100 test here. There's not really... It's not that you can't do content. It's that I come to the conclusion of why would I do content with, uh, with this Warframe, given the option to not. Because even with all of that investment on her one, you can see that... It has some troubles with, like, a level 100 Bombard, which there are, are many weapons in the game that really just don't. Um, and if I'm using her 4, I'm, like, stuck using her 1, so that's pretty much where I'm going to get to. Uh, it's worth noting, you can cast your 3 in your 4, but not your 2, because apparently that would be overpowered to be able to regenerate shields while you're in your 4. Um, so your, your 2 can't be cast while you're doing this. And it's, it's, you, you can do it. I mean, this is like a safe way to kill these guys. And her one's very effective at all like star chart levels because it does enough damage to instant kill pretty much all of them. But it's, ju it's just a little underwhelming where Hildren is hard enough to kill and you can shoot things with her exalted weapon but her exalted weapon's not strong enough, and I get that it is just a one, of course, but her, her one's not strong enough to really be better than weapons that are probably already in your arsenal anyway. And, like, she doesn't need the CC because you can just survive with your two. But if all she's doing is surviving, then we have a lot of Warframes that just survive. But there is one really goofy thing you can do with hildren uh as of right now which is this memes build we have here and you'll see that this build is only slightly different we're using vitality weird 
and, and then all of the uh, the shield recharge mods that we have available to us to make our shields recharge very fast. And there's one key thing for this build is that you go into gear and you put on a decaying key. This will probably be patched, by the way. You put on a decaying key and we go down to 393 shields. So the way that Hildren's passive works is that if your shields get to full, your passive comes back. Your passive makes it so that if your shield's empty, you get three seconds of invulnerability. Can anyone in the class tell me how long it takes my shields to reach full? Because <laughs> it's less than three seconds, especially when I'm using Arcane Aegis uh, and Barrier and all that business. So this basically makes it so I cannot die uh, without there being slash procs involved. So that's neat, right? So, like, slash procs can get to my health, but, like, yeah, that's a cool one, right? So, basically, you can use this, like, goof troop build, um, and it, it basically just lets you, uh, do whatever you want. Doesn't cost any energy, obviously, uh, but you, you can't really use your abilities when you do this, because you have very low shields, which would you would be using to, uh, use your abilities, but you can just use gun or 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 sword you could do that that's a thing you could do so yeah um i i will leave it up to your discretion to decide whether or not it is uh more useful to be invincible this way or basically unkillable with the normal build and you get to use the abilities because i think that the answer to which one is preferred will depend on a person-to-person -person basis uh but yeah that that's kind of hildren right now pretty pretty underwhelming i'm gonna say overall you can survive you can do shield things you could cc these enemies but what she does is kind of just functional overall it's not that she's bad it's just also not that she's great so, so yeah, that's Heldren. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, and apologies if the meme get, meme build gets fixed, because I think it's hilarious personally. It's pretty much just Wukong. Uh, so yeah, later everybody.